Oh yeah. <laughs> what is going on, y'all? It's wicked to see you guys again, and I really hope everybody is doing good. And if you're not, man, I hope you're doing the best that you can for <clears throat> real. Bring it home, baby. What's up, though? <laughs> it's good to see you guys again. Like I say, I hope everything is going smooth. Hope your week is going nice. God dang, we only on, what day is it? Oh, it's Wednesday. It's halfway through. I thought it was only Tuesday, man, but we get into Friday. Come on. And to help us get there, dude, I figure I would go back and do Bugsy. Um, I was going to do Cold Nights in the 6-1, and then I found out that I already did that, I guess. I did that six months ago when he dropped the video. <laughs> I didn't really pay attention, but... That just means that this one is next on the list. The Van Gogh effect, bruh. If Bugsy is saying that, man, oh, I know it's going to be good, dude. I wonder what type. Like, did he, is he going to talk about his depression? Of that? Like the Van Gogh effect? Or is he going to talk about some other stuff? I'm not 100% sure, man, but with Bugsy, we know it's going to be metaphoric. And freaking awesome, man. So a big a shout out to you and get the headphones on, make love and come on, let's go. Ooh. Yeah, come on. Bro, this is different. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, I mean, I mean. Yeah, yeah. Let's go. Yo. Picture the midwife putting him out and he's breathing. Woo! And handed him over to a mother that can't believe it. The umbilical. Talking about a birth, bruh. Yo. Picture the midwife pulling him out and he's breathing. Mm. And then handed him over to a mother that can't believe it. The umbilical cord gets snipped and everyone's smiling. A beautiful moment, right? Picture a one bit. A beautiful moment, right? Why do I feel. Like the table is about to be pulled out from underneath my feet, or whatever the heck the saying is. A beautiful moment, right? Picture a one bedroom flat on the ground floor with a drive. Mm. Picture him pulling up outside right under the street light. Imagine a baby sleeping right at the beginning of a lifetime. What a beautiful night. Okay, so he's mapping, he's changing, and he needs feeding. And he's just tired if he starts crying for no reason. Oh. But then you catch. I'm assuming he's talking about himself being born. And he's just tired if he starts crying for no reason. But then you catch eye contact with this beautiful creature. My God, what a beautiful child. Picture her telling the dad it's a boy and he can come visit. But the dad's already got a boy and his schedule's busy. Oh. Then weigh up the prospects of being a single parent. That's enough to blow anyone's mind. Picture a bar or a pub that's serving food. Oh. Dang, man. Shout out to the single parents, mom or dad. Doesn't matter. I've always wondered about that myself. Like, when my mom was getting divorced, like, I wonder... She always says, well, I had no choice. I did what I had to do. It's what I do! But I really wonder, you know, those nights when she was by herself, that had to be a lot of pressure, man. He can come busy. But the dad's already got a boy and his schedule's busy. Then weigh up the prospects of being a single parent. <clears throat> That's enough to blow anyone's mind. Picture a bar or a pub that's serving food. And let's just imagine love at first sight is true. Ooh. Flickering candle, bottle of wine, full moon. That sounds just about right. So picture the perfect day. Driving back to her place. Open the door and a look of fear on the babysitter's face. She had a funny feeling and didn't want to leave him in the first place. Something's not right. Man, what is about to happen? Imagine the screams of a baby with a snap leg. Did he get dropped or did he roll out of the bed? Was the impact all to his leg or did he bump his head? Here we go. Can anybody shed some light? I can hear the rhyme coming. From his leg or did he bump his head? Can anybody shed some light? So picture a school uniform fresh out of the pack And picture a confident young boy mum and a dad <clears throat> And picture them driving to school he can't wait to start What a wonderful life But picture an old Victorian house broke up into two flats He was on the top floor at a bowl of nest quick watching the rugrats Downstairs <laughs> the very back Shout out to the rugrats bruh 
He was on the top floor with a bowl of mess, quick watching the world rest. Downstairs with a very bad man that sold a bit more than loud packs. Oh. And that's being polite. So picture the door for the flop. And that's being polite. Ooh. This is like a sto well, it is a story. Duh. But we get into the not the climax, but what is that? Where it rises in the story, I can't remember. And that's being polite. <coughs> so picture the door for the flat upstairs getting took off his hinges. And picture the guy from downstairs running in to cause injuries. What? And imagine a boy in his bedroom listening. What is he thinking? Can you get traumatized at five? Yeah. Picture a stud in a tele. Dang, man. The dude came upstairs and robbed them? I thought he was going to talk about the police showing up and kicking the door off the hinges. Not the dude coming from the apartment down underneath him and kicking off his door. Ooh. Can you get traumatized at five? Picture a stud in a telephone box on the phone now. She's got a big family and she's going to bring big bro down. Next thing you know, a car pulls up a man jumper. It's going to be a fight. The boys just sat on the windowsill seeing everything. He watched them running the flat downstairs looking menacing. Oh! Loud. The payback. He watched them running the flat downstairs looking menacing. Loud bangs, screams, everybody's panicking. Ooh. It become the scene of a crime. The way that the blue lights lit up the street was a picture. Oh! And the way that the paramedics were full of blood was messed up. Now picture the guy from downstairs lay on the stretcher. As he's saying all this, I literally just feel for him, man. Because as he's rapping this, he's probably replaying all that stuff in his head. That's crazy, man. One time when I was a kid, um, a dude had gotten shot on my street. He, Somebody was getting robbed, and he stopped his car to help him. And I remember being a little kid... I remember hearing the gunshots, and I'm like, what the heck was that? Because I've heard gunshots before living near the army base, so I automatically knew what that sound was. And I still remember going outside, seeing the body bags, seeing the lights everywhere, and just, like, weird shit like that, you know what I mean? I, how old was I? I was 12 at the time. And for me, the reason why I say that he could still see it, because as he's saying it, man, I could still see it in my head. I still remember seeing the blue lights. Just, they bounced off the other houses. That's what literally just sticks in my head most of the time. That's crazy, man. Come on, let's go. It become the scene of a crime. The way that the blue lights lit up the street was a picture. And the way that the paramedics were full of blood was messed up. Mm. Now picture the guy from downstairs lay on the stretcher. What a terrible sight. Look. Picture a van full of boxes, full of the family belongings, onto a different chapter, maybe some family bonding. I'm so sorry, y'all. I got caught up in what I just told you. There's a second part to that story. Um, like literally, like two years ago, somebody that I used to work with, the dude who ended up getting shot, uh, was actually her husband, and she was she was in the car when that happened. And I, I just remember talking to her because she asked me, um. When I used to work with her, she's like, oh, you grew up on the north side. What street? And I said, Jaffrey. Yes, I know. Jeffrey on Jaffrey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I got it all the time. And she automatically, she was like, I hate that damn street, blah, blah, blah. And then she told the story. And it was just, for me, it was kind of like how two people could be in the same spot at once, not even knowing each other. And then literally 20 years later, not a connection, but kind of have that... Um, I don't want to say sh shared experience because I definitely was not on the same level of what she went through, but just to have that um, happen, I guess. It was just very weird for me. But anyway, let's go. Flat downstairs looking menacing. Loud bangs, screams, everybody's panicking. My bad, y'all. It become the scene of a crime. The way that the blue lights lit up the street was a picture. And the way that the paramedics were full of blood was messed up. Now picture the guy from downstairs lay on the stretcher. What a terrible sight. Look, picture a van full of boxes, full of the family belongings, 
Onto a different chapter. Oh, Maybe onto a different on. chapter. Now they got rid of the toxins and an actual house with two floors. The future's looking so bright. Wow. Whoa, 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 whoa. Now we got rid of the toxins. Now we got a natural house with two floors because he said it was an old Victorian style. And an actual house with two floors. The future's looking so bright. We were driving for miles. In the blistering cold. The boy's about nine at this point. Will this story ever get told? I guess nobody knows. As it continues to unfold. They pulled up on very new road. Back in 1999. I've heard him reference that before. Newberry Road. <clears throat> Will his story ever get told? That was nuts. That first of all, that is number one, not really what I expected. I kinda half expected him to do like metaphors like I said. About him and Van Gogh. But what I didn't expect. Was. What he just said right there. That could be somebody's whole life story. You know what I mean? Like some people that's. That's like the top. Of trauma and stuff that they're going to go through. But what sticks out man. He said nine. All that happened to him before he was nine bruh. Nine years old, man. And that's what I just wonder about, like... Ah, it's just crazy, dude. Like, that's why life is so different for everybody, man. It doesn't matter. And that's kind of the thing that fascinates me about it. Like, what I go through, what I went through... Might not be traumatic to somebody... <clears throat> who goes through something like this, you know what I mean? That is insane. I went through some craziness, but I never... Saw a home invasion. Well, no, that's not true. I did, or that is true. I didn't see a home invasion, but I did see a lot of people get arrested, and like I've seen <laughs> cops do home invasions. That's a little different. They don't even. They just yeah. <laughs> when I first moved on to Jaffe Street, man, that's uh like literally the first week, two houses like saber right, saber right here, the house across the street, and one right beside us got busted for crack and I just rem I remember my old man being like what the heck did we just move into but hey man <clears throat> I still wouldn't trade that for anything <laughs> but because uh, to me it just added character and stuff like that but my point of saying all that is like that's just hard for people to deal with man because you're a kid and you you don't understand the world bad enough you're seeing the worst part of it where some people don't even, they go their whole life and never see something like that, man. And at nine, you're stuck seeing with that. Can you get PTSD at five? Heck yes, I believe it. Heck yes, I believe it, man. You might not be able to understand it, but your brain is still going to react to it and get those neural pathways or whatever they're called in a different direction. It, it's crazy. I'm sorry for the ramble. <laughs> Just this song brought it out of me, man. Like... He just said all that, and he only got to nine years old. I want to hear the rest of it, man. We got to hear the rest. Shout out to Bugsy, and shout out to all you guys. I'll shut the heck up so you guys can get back to your life. I love you, and I will catch you in the next one, all right? Peace out, baby. Let's go.